What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and welcome to the Ultimate Universe 7 Starter Deck Review. So if you're someone who's wondering, should you buy this deck or should you just skip this product? Is there any value here? Are new cards good? Is this upgradable? Do you get your money's worth with this? This is the video for you. But before we begin this video, this is brought to you by us. By Zenke Showdown 2, 22nd of Poland, it's our event, it's going to be huge, we have the best prizes in Europe and we still have some tickets left, so if you want to check out the event, if you want to participate, link is in the description below. And now guys, roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with the breakdown. So in this video I will give you a product breakdown, I will show you some new cards, I'll show you, show you the decklist, we don't have decklist publicly revealed yet, but I'll show you everything that's in the deck. I'll show you the reprints and finally we will sum it up with some questions, a final grade and a summary. Let's go! Let's start with some general product information. This is a 51 card prismatic deck. What does this mean? This means that you have cards of all colors in this deck. The leader is green, but everything in the deck is like various colors. No multicolors though. And you also get a 7 card Z deck. This is where your Z battle cards go. 7 cards is the max that your Z deck can have, so you're getting a full Z deck. You also get a play sheet and a rule manual. The price, the MSRP at least, is $16 or euros according to the official product page. The release date is tomorrow, March 17th, however this may vary by regions. Some regions and stores have gotten this product early, some will unfortunately get it late, so check with your game store if they have this product already. Finally, the most important part is that the deck is playable out of the box and it is fully tournament legal. You can go to your LGS, you can buy this deck, sit down and play some games with your friends. Important information, this deck does not come with 4 copies of each card. 4 copies make what's called a playset, and in Dragon Ball Super Card Game you can play up to 4 copies of each non-leader card. This deck doesn't come with 4 copies of each card, unfortunately. This is a standard practice for Dragon Ball Super Card Game, which means that you will have to buy 2 copies of this deck if you want to have 4 copies of everything. Unfortunately it is what it is, but in this game that's how it works. Let's talk about the leader, Sun Gohan, and on the other side Sun Gohan Command of Universe 7. This is the face of your deck, the card that everything revolves around. Let's talk about the leader, so although our leader is green, his deck is made out of all colors, which is in Dragon Ball called a prismatic deck. Why is it like this? Because our leader has a skill called Warrior of Universe 7 and this makes it so that you don't need to pay the specified color energy cost for your cards which have the Universe 7 trait. In the most simplest term imaginable, if you have a red card and it's a Universe 7 card and you have only green energy, you can play it by paying green energy. If you have a yellow card that isn't Universe 7 card and you have like green energy, you can't play it. You need yellow to play it. That's what this basically means. You can pay any color of energy to play your cards. That's it. The only real downside is your leader's permanent, which locks your leader to Universe 7 battle cards. This is fine for the deck itself, for what you're getting with the deck, but when it comes to upgrading the deck, it's very restrictive. Let's look at all of the new cards that you're getting in this deck. All of these cards are unique to this product. You can't open them anywhere else. You can only open them in this product and you're guaranteed to get them. So with cards on the left, you're getting only two copies of each. So if you want play sets, you need to buy two of these decks. For the cards on the right, these are your Z battle cards. Your Z deck can only have 7 cards and you already get a set of 7 here. You're getting 2 copies 
of Piccolo and Gohan, and then you're getting three copies of Frieza, which makes the entirety of 7Z cards. The rest of the deck is made out of reprints, and these are all of the reprints that you're getting. You're getting like four or two copies. Yeah, I wrote four to two, usually, you know, you write two to four, but okay, of these reprints in the deck. So some copies are four of, some copies are two of. Very important uh, Shin, which costs a lot, is at four copies. So that's amazing value. But when it comes to these reprints, uh, there isn't a lot of value here. However, they work amazingly together in this deck. So that's very important to stress. These reprints might not be the best, but they work amazingly well together. Now, I guess that you're wondering, is there any value in these reprints? Well, unfortunately, the only valuable one is Shin, and Shin is going to be dirt cheap the moment this deck comes out. So there isn't a lot of financial value in the reprints, but you get some staples. Shocking that ball isn't necessarily a staple. I, would, I wouldn't necessarily call it a staple, but it's played in a lot of green decks. You have Homicidal Clones, which is a staple of every single green deck, and you're getting Shin, and Shin is amazing in the current metagame, where you have like Gogeta A to drop running around. If you're new to the game, I'm pretty sure that you will meet Mr. Gogeta A to drop fairly soon, and you'll be very happy that you have Shin in this deck. Now let's ask one of the most important questions. Is this product good? Is this deck good? Well, good news is that the deck is playable right out of the box, which is always good. You can just sit down and play with it immediately. And it is actually very good right out of the box. Unlike the Vegeta one, this one has insane synergy in the deck. So it functions amazingly well immediately out of the box. The new cards are good and there is a lot of synergy between all the cards in this deck, which is great for the starter deck. So you won't need to sit down and then immediately take some pieces out, take some pieces in to actually make this function properly. It functions great on its own the second you open it. However, it is too weak for to take tournaments. It's too weak for tournaments. You can play it at tournaments, but don't expect to win with this deck out of the box. But if you're looking at starter decks, it's very good. It's really very good. Not only is the deck very good, it's also super upgradable. This deck is very, very upgradable, despite the leader having this super restrictive permanent. Any battle card with Universe 7 trait can fit right into this deck. It fits here perfectly, any battle card. And that's that's a lot of battle cards, to be honest. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of the better cards in the game don't have the Universe 7 trait, which means that you won't have access to some of the better cards in the game, but with every upcoming set, every time a Universe 7 card comes out, you will be able to play it in this deck. And maybe eventually, you get some extremely strong ones. Speaking of upgrades, here are some recommendations to get you started. These aren't necessarily the best for this deck, but they're very cheap and you can get a lot of them very easily. So you have your Kaioken, you have your Ultra Instinct Goku, Piccolo, you have the Counterplay Goku here, you have the Vegeta from the newest set. All of these are dirt cheap and you can get them from, I believe, anyone at your local game store, or you can get them online for very, very cheap. They aren't the optimal upgrades, I believe, because this deck is extremely customizable, but they are a good starting point. Now comes the most important question. Is this deck good for new players? Because I believe that at least some new players will stumble upon this video and think like, hey, should I be buying this? Yes, this deck is great for new players who are looking to try the game out. It's a fairly cheap product, which is highly customizable, has decent reprints, and contains all of the important mechanics from the current era of Dragon Ball Super Card Game. If you are new to this game, buy this deck, 
it's a great starting point. Now comes my favorite part of the video and that is grading time. It's time to grade this product. We need to ask ourselves some key questions and then we'll use the sensor to come up with a grade for the product. So does it do a good job at introducing new players to the game and explaining new mechanics? Does it contain relevant reprints? Is there good synergy between new and old cards in this deck? How upgradable slash customizable is the deck? And finally, is the deck good out of the box? Okay, let's answer these questions. So, does the deck do a good job in introducing new players to the game and explaining the mechanics? Yes. The deck has a lot of relevant mechanics, it's missing a unison, but other than that it has everything else that you want to have in it. The Z deck mechanic works well with the rest of the deck, it has all of the important features in it, so I would say that it does a very good job in introducing new players to the game and explaining the current mechanics. Does it contain relevant reprints? It contains Shen, which is extremely relevant, and it also contains Homicidal Clones, which goes into every green deck, and there is also Shocking Dead Ball. So when it comes to valuable reprints, yes. The rest of the reprints are not very relevant, but they have great synergy between themselves. Which leads me directly into the next question, is there good synergy between new and old cards? Yes, there is a lot of synergy in this deck, much more than in the Vegeta deck. Everything here does something that you want to do, they work perfectly well with your leader, so the synergy right out of the box is awesome. How upgradable slash customizable is the deck? Very. It's very upgradable, because every Universe 7 trait card can go into this deck. Every Universe 7 trait card that's ever going to come out after this deck is released can go into this deck. So the customization options are just insane. Like there is so much to do here. And finally, is the deck good out of the box? Yes. Yes, it's very, very good out of the box. It's not the strongest deck. It won't win you tournaments out of the box, but it's super strong. It's super strong for a starter deck. It's very good. It's a lot weaker than most other meta decks, infinitely weaker, but it's good for a starter deck. And taking all of that into consideration, my final grade for this product is a very high 9 out of 10. Like this is the highest that I ever give to these decks. So 9 out of 10, Chef's Kiss, this deck is amazing. This is the starter deck to buy if you're looking to jump into the game. Everything in it is relevant, everything works together. It is extremely customizable, it does an amazing job at introducing new players to the game. Like, I, I just have good things to say about this one. The only reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because I'm a very harsh judge, and in order to be like 10 out of 10, it also needs to be competitive out of the box. And only a couple of decks in the game actually satisfy this condition. So 9 out of 10, the highest that I can give to a starter deck. I highly, highly recommend this product. Before we end the video, let's just jump into the summary. This is a very good starter deck for new players. For veterans, however, it offers very little outside of the leader, which might become meta at some point. I don't believe it's gonna be a meta leader right now, but it might be because of its trait. The reprint quality is great. Like, there are amazing reprints here, especially Shin and the other cards in the deck, which aren't staples, have a lot of synergy. So, there is a few staples, an amazing reprint in Shin, you get four copies of Shin in this deck, and there is a lot of synergy between everything here. The deck does a great job at introducing new and returning players to new mechanics, such as the Z stack and the Z deck, and finally, overall, I highly, highly recommend buying this deck. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below, will you be buying this deck? If you are a new player, and I hope that at least some new players find these videos, let me know in the comments, 
Have I convinced you to buy or to skip this deck? I'm very interested in hearing this out. And for all of you guys who are veterans to the game, will you be buying this deck? Will you be experimenting with this leader? Do you think that this leader has potential or is it just like, yeah, it's okay. Let me know in the comments. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And before you leave, Hit that like and subscribe button, share this video around, help us grow, help us grow this awesome local community. We're almost at 2000 subs, that's incredible. So yeah guys, that's it for now. This has been Damien from The Lookout and I'll see all of you in the next video.